All right, today I want to talk about pages being a page layout tool and not just a word processing tool. Um, so in order to do that, let's create something like this. Um, so let's go file to the new template chooser. And we want to look down here in the page layout section. Um, we'll select this one right here. And what we want to do first is to add our picture. So here's our picture. And we don't want to edit it. We want to um, mask it with a with a with a shape. So go here. Whoops, didn't select it. Um, and we'll take a rectangle. We can do any shape that Pages has. And we'll just we're gonna go fast. So bear with me. Um, just make this shape exactly the way you want it. At the right size and whatnot, and then you can edit your mask here, um, and you can move this picture around wherever you want it. So let's do that, and then there's our shape. I'm gonna add a shadow to it. You can add other things to it, but I'm gonna do shadow for now. Um, and then we're gonna add text box to kind of describe what's going on here. And why we add text boxes is because we want everything to be an object and if everything's an object then we can control everything rather than it being directly on the document so I'm just gonna add some basic things here and get it to the right shape and we'll be on our way We're going to add another text box. And get it to the right shape here. get it in place and I'm just gonna command click uh, the heights there and then right click or control click and I'm gonna just arrange these left here and make it uh, look good um, now what I'm going to do is we're gonna add our text areas and all I really did here is is just uh, create two text boxes and I join them and I'll show you how I joined them in a second here um, you'll see that there's these arrows there's an arrow here and I just clicked it and it let me add one just like that it was it was easy 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 um, and uh, I have you just want to I'll just demonstrate this um, real quick but when you get to the end of this Get to the end of this text box, it will easily just jump to the next thing for you. Uh, the next text box for you. See, we're, I mean, we're right there. It'll just flow right into it. Um, so the next thing, the last thing I really want to do here is, um, <clears throat> is I want to add another picture. I've got this really cool picture here. Um, and we don't want it to be that big. We want it to be smaller. And what we want to do is we want the text to flow around it. So we'll line it up here in the middle. That uh, looks good. And I'm going to, it's command here. Yep, command. If I hold down the command button, it'll let me tilt it. So we'll give it a nice little tilt. And we'll open our um, inspector back up. And we'll go to this guy right here. We want the image to float. I mean, we could do some other things, um, but I mean, really, what we want to do is, who you know, we just want the, and we can we can change the space around it if we want, um, or its alpha. Um, but and the type of fit, well, this is the fit we want. So I mean, in essence, that's what it is, guys. Um, Hope you like it. Hope this helps you make really cool documents. Um, Pages is really powerful, so take advantage of all it has to offer.